The reason I'm not up here by myself was because uh, I just can't say enough about the effort. Uh, it's 535 high schools in the state of Florida alone. The last three years, in the month of May, we have gone to each one of those high schools. These young men here. It's, it's really allowed us to cultivate relationships, uh, to get to know coaches. They get to know us and you know trust what we're doing. Uh, of course, it doesn't hurt either to, uh, to have the exposure that we've been getting from the Florida Classic, which is somewhere over 62,000 plus, but then been on TV another million or so. Uh, that all helps. And then uh, Atlanta, and then of course Dr. Thomas, our commissioner. Uh, he has a TV package for our conference. All of that exposure is, is a body of work because it's all about personnel. Uh, we always say, I've never gone to a Kentucky Derby and seen a donkey run. Right? You got to have some horse. Now, area of concern, uh, and I know it was your concern too, we felt like the first thing we needed to address was the offensive line. <laughs> couple of years we've been forced to mix and match. Uh, we've had some injuries after Dell State. Man, your young man went down with a broken leg. Back against Miami, we lost a guy for about a month with an ankle. Uh, got to uh, Howard, we had some injuries there. We have decided in our strategies, when we come to fall camp, we are allowed to bring 90 football players in, in August. We have decided that one third of that 90 will be Offensive and defensive linemen, all right? Because that's where the game is won. Uh, certainly, you got to have the others, but if you are not good in that trench area, uh, it's going to be a long day. So we went out and we signed eight offensive linemen. The tallest one is about six nine. Right? Uh, and we got some six sixes and six fives. Only one of them is under, well, it's about 6'1", but he's, uh, he's a pretty good one. And he's a center. A center really can be a little bit shorter because normally he's either cutting off or, you know, reaching, right, for in terms of his responsibilities. So we really feel good about our old line. One guy is all the way from, uh, thanks to Coach uh, Small, who has contacts in Texas and California, we signed a guy from Hawaii. We've always wanted, uh, you know, those guys, they, if you hit them in the face and, blood, and the nose start bleeding, you got to hit them again the next play. Right? So we need a few of those. So uh, Coach Paul made some contact. And uh, we didn't have the home visit, but I know all the coaches would have wanted to go. Uh, so we didn't home visit him. <laughs> Luckily, we could just sign after he came over. He came over and really had a nice visit this past uh, weekend. The other thing, our next area is probably in the secondary. You know we lost Keel Hall and Curtis Holcomb. Uh, two pretty good lockdown corners. So we really had to go out and uh, you know, address that area. And we feel like uh, that's been done. The third area was probably our quarterback area. Uh, not just in terms of depth, but also maturity. We had a guy to come with two guys to come in in January, one from the University of Memphis, and of course one with the gray shirt, who's a high school guy from Broward County. And we really feel like uh, the leadership's going to be there, the athleticism is going to be there. And I know everybody's asking, uh, well, who's going to start? Well, you know, training is undefeated, so I don't know how you uh, mess with that. But you know, every day in practice, we always film every practice, and certainly we always going to evaluate. Uh, and then it's good to have competition. We don't want anybody on our team to see anything on game day that they don't see all week. Uh, so, that, so it's important to have good competition. It's important to have uh, depth so that uh, if somebody does go down, uh, whoever comes in, we don't want that performance level to drop at all. So we feel like we have addressed our quarterback area. And then the idea of trying to make sure that all of our strategies of recruiting starts here in Tallahassee. Uh, there's some great coaching going on here in Tallahassee. You always start at home first. And we were able to land some good uh, uh, 
this area uh, is Coach Holmes' area. And of course, he does a great job of getting around and because he knows all the coaches and now he knows everybody in Tallahassee. <laughs> and that's a good thing because uh, he's really been able to uh, go into these, and first of all, they identify with him because, you know, it's a lot of commonality from grade school, growing up, and, you know, of course, walking on and earning a scholarship, earning an All-American, then going on to the NFL. Uh, certainly, uh, that is attractive. And the thing I always tell young men when they come, with all these coaches, the definition of a coach is simply somebody who can take somebody somewhere where they can't go by themselves. That's the definition of a coach. And the reason that we are attracting good talent is because these guys have been there, they've done that. And players know that if they come to FAM, wherever they're trying to go in life, <clears throat> these guys can help them to get there. Uh, so that's the thing about this whole staff. So we've got a lot of um, local talent. And we are impressing that upon them because, you know, uh, we feel good now as a coach that if a young man's out there playing hard, a lot of times we want to take credit for that. But I've found out over the years that um, if Aunt Sally is in the stands, uh, Uncle Bill, you know, they playing hard for family. The family going to get on just as much. In fact, you all going to get on. All right? You all have shown us that. I, I appreciate your affection. <laughs> you all care. I know that. Y'all let us know how y'all care. Right? But that's good. You know, that, that's good. But a young man can be here and see, it's all about still filling the stands up. Uh, this is the revenue generating sport, and we understand that. So when you got local kids, it's just not going to be mom and dad. The community is going to come. Uh, the whole neighborhood is coming. And that's good for us because it is still, at the bottom line, it's still revenue generating. And that's what we got to do. So we got a lot of, uh, and then they can go home. I mean, they're, all, they're away from home because they're on campus. But it's nothing like going home once in a while get a home cooked meal. So it's, it's a win-win for the young man as well as for us. So our strategies start with home recruiting. And then we'll go throughout the Big Ben. And certainly uh, we've done that. And, you know, we feel good. So without just going down the list, uh, we really feel like, uh, to date, this is the best class that uh, we've gotten in. And you know, we only lost 12 off the team from last year. All right, so we really are positioning ourselves to get to that next level. And out of those uh, 23 or 25 that left the year before, 23 of those guys have gotten their degree. So it's not about just winning. Building men, uh, self-sufficient men, so that when they leave, they are protected citizens. And I'm going to just say one more thing, and then we're going to sit down. Now, I think I mentioned this a little bit earlier, but uh, you know, we really do appreciate all that goes on. Um, you know, in terms of your support, uh, we look around out there where we are on the road. We can see that on the green. Uh, please know uh, how uh, important that is, and how much we appreciate that. Because, you know, and I don't have to tell you all this, uh, fam, uh, it's just great tradition. The expectation is that you're going to win. Uh, because Jake Gaither got all that stuff started, all right? And he did a great job. And every time, in fact, we have invited uh, uh, Coach Hubbard over to speak to the team on the 16th of February. Uh, and, and he came along and helped uh, rekindle, all right? won a national championship, uh, things that, uh, you know, we have come to expect, and we have no problem with that, because I tell the staff all the time, if you're ever someplace, and because you are there, they don't ask guys to leave the year before, uh, we had a lot of little puppets start the year, we on the road four straight weekends, starting off with uh, Miami, I don't know if the doctor ordered that or not, uh, but it's not enough to get well with, I can tell you that, but, the average team would have, with any less character, would have folded the tent and went home after September. But these coaches, these players, uh, had a great run and ended up winning the uh, co-champions this year. And I've been told over and over again, we got to get that core off of it. Uh, and I understand.